a warning now about another kind of online attack tonight. The FBI says it's received nearly 200 reports of someone busting in on a Zoom meeting and showing video of child sex abuse. The FBI considers this a violent crime because every time a video like that is viewed, the child on it is victimized once again. If this has happened to one of your Zoom meetings, you are asked to contact the FBI and to protect yourself, make your meeting private, require a password, and make it so only the host can share a screen. And Rob, that's not the only way sexual predators are taking advantage of COVID-19 and our new digital lives. They're targeting children online more because of less supervision. Only on five, you'll see it only takes minutes for predators to engage with someone they thought was a child. Online learning is putting digital devices in the hands and at the fingertips of students more now than perhaps ever before. And that comes with a warning. It's a ripe environment for predators right now. Predators posing as a child or teenager visiting apps, gaming and social media sites popular with kids. Predators study that. They know where to go. They know how to talk to kids. Predators persuade kids to send naked pictures of themselves or meet in person for sex. We do have task force officers and agents that get online frequently that pose as a 13, 14 year old girl, whatever persona they want to come up with. Canton Police Detective Brian Allen is one of of those officers fighting crimes against children online. I put another post out on one of these apps and I've already got seven people hitting me up. Allen is a member of the FBI Canton Resident Agency's Child Exploitation Task Force. He targets predators who target children. He sent me a picture of himself already. Behind the computer screen, he is a 14 year old. Predators respond quickly. I started a chat this morning and actually I'm talking to, to this guy now. I probably started this chat at about nine o'clock. Um, it's 1040 and he wants to come down from Cleveland to meet and have sex with what he thinks is a 14 year old. In February, Operation Unsportsmanlike Conduct netted 14 arrests of suspected child predators over Super Bowl weekend. Men who believe they were communicating online with young teen boys and girls. Every day, predators are talking to children online and Alan has some advice for parents. Look at your child's phone and talk to your children. They do, do need to know that there are dangers on the computer when you open it up. When you open the computer, you're opening the whole world. There has been an uptick in cases nationwide and Detective Allen told me they have seen more cases in our area as well. 